Hello. So for this work problem, we're asked to use Varignon's theorem to find the moment that force F, this 200 pound force over here, exerts about point B. So point B is on this bottom corner of the box right here. Um, so normally, we would say that the moment is equal to the force times the perpendicular distance uh, between the force vector and the point over here. But finding that perpendicular distance right here is going to be uh, kind of a pain in the butt. So we're going to use Varignon's theorem to kind of simplify the whole problem. So Varignon's theorem, um, kind of the reverse angle of this, uh, is going to be if we find the moment that the x component uh, exerts about point B and add that to the moment that the y component of this force exerts about point B, we can find the overall moment that this force would exert. Uh, so first thing we need to do is we're going to redraw the box like so. Uh, we've got point B down here. And we need to find the x and y component. So the x component is going to be in the negative x direction. Uh, and that's going to be 200 pounds times the cosine of 20 degrees. And the y component is going up. It's going to be 200 times the sine of 20 degrees. And so that is the x and the y component here. So I know that my moment is going to be the sum of these two. So m, and I'm going to call this x and this fy. So my moment is going to be fx or uh, 200 times the cosine of 20. So that's my force in the x direction uh, times the, <clears throat> the distance. And so the perpendicular distance right here is easy. Uh, it's going to be this distance here. Uh, or really if I go here is where it's going to be closest. And so that distance is 24 inches, uh, or 24 inches I'm going to rewrite as 2 feet. So this is pounds, and this is going to be times 2 feet. And I also add in the moment the y component exerts about this. And so y, uh, the distance, the minimum distance it's going to travel is this distance here. So I do force, which is going to be 200 times the sine of 20 pounds, uh, times my distance is going to be 36 inches in this case. That's the closest it gets to point B. Uh, and that is, um, I can convert that again to 3 feet. And so if I do 200 cosine 20 times 2 plus 200 sine 20 times 3, I end up with an overall moment. Oh, something else to check uh, while we're doing this. Uh, we need to check the sine of the moments. So the x component would cause a rotation about b in this direction. That's counterclockwise, so that's going to be a positive moment. Uh, and this 200 sine 20 also is going to cause a counterclockwise rotation about b. So that would also be a positive moment. So these are both positive. I can leave them as, a, as is. Um, and if I crunch the numbers uh, and actually calculate all this out, uh, I end up with a moment of about 581.1 foot-pounds is my unit. So that is uh, a positive moment, which means it's a moment um, going in the counterclockwise direction, about point B, magnitude of 581.1 foot-pounds. So with that, we found uh, our moment. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again.